Okay, let's have a look at the abdominal breath. The abdominal breath on its own is a very calming breath. It encourages the diaphragm to drop down and the lungs to open up. And it's one part of a total three-part breath, which you can see on this page is the progression we go through to get to the three-part total breath. So let's start. So we're going to expand the abdomen in different directions, and then we're going to slow it down and breathe deeply. So I want you to place your palms on your belly. And all I want you to do when you breathe in, breathing through the nose, is expand into your hands. Okay, so exhale first, and then breathe in, expand into your hands. And exhale. And just practice. Every time you breathe in, see if you can expand a little bit more. Breathe in. And exhale. It's all about practice and your body getting used to it. Breathe in. And exhale. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale. Now place your hands on the sides and just see if you could expand out into your hands now. Breathe in. And out. In. Out. In. And out. So you may not feel a lot of movement, but the idea is that you want to expand into this three-dimensional space in all directions. Place your hands on your lower back now, same thing. Breathe out. And in, expand into your hands. Of course, your spine is there. There isn't as much movement as your belly, but you're still moving the breath back. Exhale. Inhale. See if you can fill the space between your vertebrae with breath. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Again, this is a very calming breath. It's a great breath to do if you just want to calm your nerves, like you're about to write an exam, about to do something important. Maybe you're feeling anxious or you're feeling a panic attack coming on or anything like that. You just want to calm the nervous system. Okay, so now we're going to practice the breath. And like I said before, it's a three-dimensional space. You can even imagine the breath going down as well. So down out, forward, and back. And your diaphragm, which is in your rib cage here, it's going down and up. So down when you breathe in and up, and you might actually feel the diaphragm. It's a muscle, so you can feel it going up and down with the breath. So to help, place one hand on your belly, one hand on your lower back, and you can also pay attention to the other directions. So let's, let's take eight breaths, and we're going to do it four seconds in and four seconds out, okay? And then we'll slow it down even more after that. Exhale. Breathe in. Three, four, out. In. Out. In. Out. I think this is four in. Out. Okay, now eight seconds in and out. See if you can slow it way down for the next four breaths. Okay, in. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And it's okay if you have to hold the breath in and out for a few seconds. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, pause and just sit in meditation, close your eyes, feel the body. And go ahead and open your eyes. So as I said before, great for calming the nervous system, great for preparing you for events that might feel stressful, great for preparing you for sleep, um, one part of a three-part breath, you can do it lying down, you can do it sitting, you can do it standing, it doesn't really matter. It's great to breathe through the nose with a soft jaw to get that ujjayi breathing, which is another video on this page you can learn to do. And so this is the first part of the progression through the three-part breath. We'll move into the mid chest and then the upper chest and then we'll put it together into the full three-part breath and then move on to Savitri breathing, which is its own practice. Um, Savitri breathing can be done with a total breath, three-part breath, or the abdominal breath alone. So that's another practice you can do. If you want to calm your nervous system down, you count to whatever count you can manage. So we just did four seconds and eight seconds. You can do 12, you can do 16. The more you slow it down, the more your lung capacity increases and the more your nervous system calms down. So go ahead and practice that at home and move on to the next stage when you're ready.